I'm not like the fastest guitar player or the most creative guitar player, and I'll never be that type of player, you know. But one thing I can do is write songs. I know that, like that, that's my thing. That I can write, and within a context of of a piece of music, I can hopefully convey something that pulls people in, and that's where I think my actually my real skill set lies. I mean, I remember writing with a band that I was in when I was a kid, and they had a like a songwriting competition on the local radio station, like the local rock radio station. I can remember hearing my song on the radio for the first time. That was pretty cool. Like, you know, running around the house, turning all the radios on, cranking it up, and being like, I'm on the radio. You know, that was pretty cool. So the video demo thing uh, has been something that's evolved over the last almost 10 years now. I started a YouTube channel. And I'd put up a few videos of me just kind of jamming, you know, playing through my amps and things like that on YouTube, but I hadn't done any of these, like, sort of like a formal gear demo or something like that. I was like, huh, like a light bulb went off in my head. I was like, that's pretty powerful, that's cool. And um, so I just started making more of them. Just occasionally when I would get a hold of a product I really liked or a pedal that I found inspiring, you know, that kind of thing, I would make a little video of it and stick it up on YouTube and I saw the subscribers start to, you know, the, the account was growing and I was like, wow, there's some interest in this. It's pretty cool. At some point early on, I realized that what I wanted to do was display the gear in a musical context. I didn't want to just play like licks. What I wanted to do was actually plug the thing in, see what it sounded like, try and get inspired by that tone, and then write a piece of music. Maybe it generates some kind of riff or an idea. And then I can turn that into like a mini song, basically, that's a minute or a minute and a half long. A piece of music that sort of is like, this is what this gear is to me. I started putting the songs right in front of the video and it kind of became my thing all of a sudden. It was like, you know, he writes a song for every single video that he makes. And a lot of people say to me, they're like, how do you do that? How do you come up with all that music? That must be difficult. And that's the easy part. Pulling a pedal out of a box and plugging it into a cool amp and getting a tone and just like writing a song, that's super fun. If I can get somebody to watch at least the first 60 seconds of the video, then I feel like they've actually seen me play, they've heard the music, but they've also heard the pedal or the piece of gear, you know, they basically got the idea of what it does. Now I have no idea what this is going to sound like because I literally just pulled it up here, so let's see. You know, and already, so, um, so I'm hearing the... So now I'm like thinking, okay, that's like about 80 beats a minute or something like that. I pull up Logic and I get a drum thing going and I can hear this sludgy kind of drum sound going. And I'm already thinking about the bass and I can just kind of hear the whole thing forming in my head and how I want it to go. Oh, I'll just start playing, just start hitting notes and seeing. You know, I'm just letting the sound lead the wherever my fingers are going. You know, it's precious, and they're like your kids, you know, these songs like that when you come up with them, especially if they're going to go on a record, but you don't want to take it so seriously that you start editing yourself and screwing up what could have potentially been a really cool idea. It's like being true to yourself, having a good time playing guitar and making cool sounding music that's really honest and coming from the right place, that resonates with people. If it seems like you're trying to impress, or it's contrived in any way, people can smell that, I think, you know? And they get, I don't know, there's something about it that's just like kind of a turn off. I don't want to hear the technique. Like, I don't want to watch somebody and go, I can hear them sitting there practicing that, you know, that they worked on that lick for a long time. It's like, you never think that when you watch Hendrix play, you know? It's just like this thing where he's like, in the moment, he's just doing his thing. So that's what we all shoot for, I think, to try and get to that place where it's like this honest expression. Yeah, the more you can concentrate on the guitar and on the notes and the music and, and actually less on the gear, um, the more you can get comfortable with your workflow. I've been an advocate of using uh, 
uh, pedal board systems with loop switchers for a long time, with a MIDI foot controller that would control everything on one button push. That's a big deal to me. You know, this, just to have your delay come on, your reverb come on, and go to the clean channel all in one button push. So to have that kind of flexibility to be able to do that instantly is, for me, that's like, I've been used to doing that for a long, long time now. It's like imperative to my creative flow. Um, and yeah, lets you kind of, you know, put the focus on the guitar and on the music.